Hi brothers and sisters, welcome back again to my channel. I'm Linda Peace and I'm here to share another word again that I heard from the Lord on the 12th of this month. Alright, so one thing I want to share with you before I can read what I wrote down from the Lord is that you have to know that what's happening right now is that um, God is, is elevating, is elevating his children, you know, he is elevating his children. Um, in Christianity, you have to grow from level to level, you know, from elevation to elevation, from anointing to anointing, from faith to faith, you know, until you meet for what the Lord has called you to do. So why is he pouring out his spirit right now for elevation is that we have heard about tribulation and in my previous videos, I have shared with you how the tribulation is going to come, you know, and how you have to, 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 uh, to overcome it you know and then um so the lord will be pouring out this spirit this elevation on you but you yourself you ought to take the the the, the anointing you know you ought to stand up and take the anointing you know if you, you you sit and relax and then you're gonna miss the anointing many will be anointed many will be elevated so you you can be able to stand you remember when you grow you want the more you grow you know the more principalities you know also attack you in the spirit so for you to also overcome those those in principalities that are, are going to attack you according to your level you're gonna stand your ground how do you stand your ground you're gonna have to to um to take out all these things that hinder you from hearing from god you're gonna have to sit down and hear from god you know so you can take your anointing hear from him what he's saying to you in the hour you know what are you saying to me the hour lord what should i do you know this and this and that that's what he wants how do you uh what do i mean when i say you sit down and you hear from the lord you're gonna have to clean yourself you know you know the things that hinder us as christians from hearing from the lord these are the desires of our flesh you know the desires of our, of our flesh you're gonna have to punch your body make sure that your body um, um listens to you obeys you you know and another thing this is how you get yourself uh how you get yourself out of this thing you cannot do it by your own power you know but it's by the spirit of god that you are able to be saved you know you're able to be changed you are able to be made holy and righteous how do you do that we get an example of of of, uh, of jacob you know so um jacob jacob was very much honest with god you know with, with the lord he was very much honest with him when he asked him what is your name he didn't lie to him he didn't say any other name but he said i am jacob you know and jo jacob the name jacob means liar you know because his father in the first place his father isaac asked him uh what is your name he pretended to be esau right he pretended to be esau so that he can take a blessing you know so that is a liar you know and then when the lord asked him what is your name he didn't lie then he was very much honest he said my name is jacob right and then that is when the lord saw that really this person is desperate for a change he does he's not he doesn't easily give up and then he changed his name from from jacob to israel you see so you're gonna have to be honest with god and then you say to god lord i am a, I'm, I'm a drunkard lord i'm an a, a, a adulterous person i'm a sinner you know jacob admitted that he is a sinner right and then out of that his name was trans 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 what trans um uh translated or can i say yeah he was changed to uh, israel you know and that's the nation that that was loved by god right so you're gonna also have to admit and be honest with God when you sit down. You'll be honest with God. God, I'm an adulterous person. I'm a lustful person, you know. I am not going to leave you not until you change me, right? Like 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 Jacob, you know. Jacob wrestled with this with the Lord. He wrestled with the Lord. He didn't give up on him. He said, I'm not going to leave you until you give me a blessing, right? Until you give me a blessing, until you change me because his name was jacob but he never had a blessing the blessing was given to him by his father biological father but it didn't manifest right because his name was still in sin but now 
the Lord changes his name and then he gives him a blessing at the same time also. So you're going to have to also change your name. You're going to change your deeds, you know, from a sinner. You're going to change your deeds from a drunkard. You're going to change your deeds from a lustful person in order for you to get this anointing that the Lord has, is, is pouring out, the Lord has prepared for you, you know. All right, guys, let me read out. For you what i heard from the lord on on the second of um, of this month i was meditating on the word and um, many things were running in my mind and in my spirit and i kept on asking the lord why um most of the people wondering why um why there is many false prophecy you know and where that this whole thing comes from i was also wondering how do they get to deceive people in this kind of way and they are successful in their kind of deceiving you know kept on asking the lord it looks so much godly it looks so much like like your own prophecy you know but when you look so much deeply into it it is not of your own prophecy you know i kept on wondering this and asking god why many people have been de deceived also at the same time you know and then that is when the lord started to answer me and speaking to me by his own grace i'll read to you guys what i had to, to, to write down what i heard from the lord so the Lord said, if you get so much desperate with your flesh, you will be stolen and deceived by the fallen one. But I give my spiritual gift to my children who sincerely seek me with their spirit. They do not ask, but I give generally because they have shown me proper, they have shown me proper, true and sincere love. He says, this is how my blessings come the lord says not all that prophesy prophesy by my spirit but they are deceived by the fallen one who has given them false gifts of prophecy and then he says watch that you are not deceived for this is for this is their time as spoken in my word Many will come claiming I am here, but you, you, my, ch you my child, have known your father. Taste their prophecy with my word. Let your soul, body, and spirit be guarded by my word as you wait on my coming, which is so soon. Again, watch out that you do not miss my rest. I watch all and see as I only can see and I know my children my children whom I treasure my children whom I treasure have loved me and have loved me trembling at my name I am who I am let not your faith and trust in me decrease but increase blessed are you who wait on me remain in me and I will remain in you and I will save you on that great day. Obey my word. Be good to everyone. Bless your enemies and pray to me for those who persecute you. Lose not heart, but have courage. I am still on the throne. Preach my true word when I come to you. I say to you, they will take over but your life is in my hands, so fear not. Stick to what you have, you have read and heard. Believe that I live and know all about you. For most of you have doubts, but I tell you, my children, Satan has no claim over you, so seize, so seize him and he will flee from you. Pray to me about everything, and out of your righteousness, I will do it. Blessed be those who will overcome. That is what I heard from the Lord.